Toronto, a judge at the first-degree murder trial of an aviation executive allegedly killed by a son has deemed a gruesome image of the accused inadmissible. The prosecution wanted to put into evidence a photograph of Dylan Miller that shows the 32-year-old with a bloody eye. The image, which Corridor did not appear to involve real blood, was purportedly uploaded by Miller to a gaming website just two weeks before Wayne Miller died on November. Wayne Miller's death was initially ruled a suicide and the trial has heard his cause of death was a bullet through his left eye. 29, 2012. The Crown has argued that the photograph of Dylan Miller used as his profile picture on the gaming site was not just a coincidence. They say a forensic audit of his computer show the image was taken in 2005 but used between Nov. 10, 2012 until May 6, 2013, the same day Miller killed Hamilton man Tim Bosma. But Millard's lawyer says the image is too prejudicial and not relevant at the judge alone trial where his client has pleaded not guilty to first-degree murder. Justice Maureen Forrestal called the image gruesome and said it will be excluded from evidence. Her reasons for doing so are expected to be detailed in a later written decision. A retired provincial police forensic officer is expected to testify later today about an analysis of Millard's computers found at his home after he was arrested for Bosma's death. Millard and his friend Mark Smick are currently serving life sentences for the first-degree murders of Bosma and Toronto woman Laura Babcock.